Hey golfers, it's Dave from Fit2 Golf. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Acra 200FX driver shaft. Now a couple of disclaimers before we get started. I'm not an Acra dealer, but I did graduate from the online Acra U program. So I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of the line of shafts, the engineering behind the products, and the quality control that goes into the Acra shafts. The other disclaimer is that this is not the current model. This is last year's model. There is now an FX 2.0. Uh, it, it uses slightly different materials and has a slightly different bend profile. And also they eliminated the 400 series from uh, the FX 2.0. The Acra uses 100 series as the highest launch, softest tip. The 200 series that's probably going to fit most uh, recreational golfers that has a mid to high launch the 300 series for the more aggressive, faster swinger, and then the 400 series for those golfers who are swinging at uh, Tour Pro speeds and tempos. Now, this shaft is uh, the 260 M4. Uh, 200 obviously for the 200 series, the 60 for the 60 gram weight class. This weighs in at 67 grams, and the M4 is the Acra designation for stiff. One of the things I really like about Acra shafts is they cater to the club maker. Uh, they offer a lot of varieties within each series of weights and, and flexes so that the club fitter can match the golfer really specifically uh, by tip trimming. Now for the review, I paired this with a Maltby ST2 driver, 9.5 degrees, and I did this specifically because previously I had the uh, Maltby MPF uh, stiff series shaft in this, which is a really great shaft. It plays a little stiffer to flex. It's, a, I think, a low launch and a low spinning shaft. And at my uh, delivery, which is either level or slightly down with the driver, and at this loft, I was looking to see if I could get better launch numbers and better spin with the Acra shaft. So let me put up some swings, and uh, I'll talk, talk you through how it felt. I uh, hit this club both on the range, and I'll put up some data in just a second. It felt great. I, I keep in mind that Acra is known for smooth loading shafts, and so I try to be very deliberate in my loading, slow with the transition and not speeding up the downswing until uh, after the transition, and I found that the shaft uh, really performed well under these circumstances. I also hit the driver with the shaft installed on the course, and I really got really good performance with this. It, it definitely achieved what I was looking for in terms of slightly higher launch at this loft, and with my delivery, and slightly higher spin numbers. Now in terms of pros and cons, one huge pro is just how Acra approaches the manufacture of their shafts. They start with meeting the needs of the club fitter versus tailoring a shaft to a tour player and then trying to uh, adjust the bend profile to meet the average golfer's needs. And there are a wide variety of weights and flexes that a club fitter can use. For this shaft specifically, I felt it fit me very well and probably would fit a lot of other golfers who are swinging in the 95 to 100 mile an hour range. Another pro is the legendary smoothness of the load of this shaft. If you have a um, slow to moderate transition and force, you can really load the shaft nicely and it really does perform. So there you go, quick review. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've hit Acra shafts. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking into more of them. and. Uh, Get out there, play some golf, and stay positive. Mom, Mom, I did it. I graduated. Yeah, yeah. N n no, I didn't score the top of my class. But Someone from TXG. TXG. They're Canadian.